Hello again, St. John's friends and family. This is Pastor Brady, and this is Friday, June 12th, 2020. And this is our announcement and inspiration time as we head into the weekend together. Just wanted to remind you that this Sunday, worship times will be the same as last week. Uh, the church doors will open at 9.45. We will have praise and worship service at 10, regular worship at 10.30. I remind you just to follow the directions of the ushers at the doors and follow the guidelines. They'll be placed on the screen. And if you're not ready to return yet, that is fine. We want everyone to return um, to church as they are comfortable. So we will see you soon if you're not with us uh, this Sunday. And a reminder that service will be streamed live at 1030 on Facebook and sent out um, via the email link and posted on our YouTube page later in the day this Sunday wanted to go over our birthdays and anniversaries that we're celebrating as a church family this coming week. So looking at the list today, um, in this coming week, uh, today we have um, Todd S. has a birthday. On Monday, Jim and Judy B. have an anniversary. On next Tuesday, the 16th, uh, John B. Jr. has a birthday. Next Wednesday, Doug and Tanya M. have an anniversary. Next Thursday, the 18th, Paul L. has a birthday, and Larry and Debbie J. have an anniversary. So if you see those individuals or those couples, please uh, give them well wishes in the week to come as they celebrate those birthdays and anniversaries. And as we head into this weekend together, um, as we look towards you know, these summer months, um, and as we celebrate the fact that we're starting to come out of this pandemic, there's still a lot of fear about what the future might hold. Um, many have fears about the virus, but also about the unrest that is going on in the country. We need to be focused on what God is giving us all the time, day by day, the many gifts he has given us, the beauty of his creation. And on Wednesday, um, at our midweek devotion time, I talked about how God gives us the gifts of hope and peace. I read a scripture from Romans where Paul was telling us that he gives us that hope and that peace, but we are also called to spread those gifts to our brothers and sisters. And we see a world that is divided, a world that is, um, well, where everyone's kind of at each other right now, where things aren't settled and there's a lot of unrest and we just need to come together. We need to be more unified. And the way to do that is to celebrate the gifts that God has given us. So today I wanna to talk to you about the gift of connection. We have many connections in life. You know, a lot of them are earthly connections, but then there are those spiritual connections which are so much more important. First of all, how many of you um, have to run around trying to plug in your device? You know, a USB cord, being able to plug it into the wall or plug, the, plug it into your car, um, to be able to charge your phone, I often, you know, let my phone run down until the battery is almost dead and I am looking for a USB cord to plug in. This is a connection we need more than ever, right? We definitely needed it during the pandemic because we needed it to charge up our phones or to charge up our tablets or our iPads because we needed that connection, that power connection to be able to have that battery power to use our device to stay connected to the world. And we need that daily. And this is a connection we, we really think we need to have. We really don't need it, but we want it. And it is the way of the world. Another connection is the people we know, friends and family. You're probably wondering why is Pastor Brady sitting by a pool in this video? Well, the pool behind me is a connection. It's not my pool, it's my sister's pool. But because I have that connection to my sister, I have the gift of being able to use her pool. And I love going to the ocean, but I don't live at the ocean. And so the pool is necessary and very desirable as we move into these hot summer months. So that's a connection, a great gift I get, but the greater gift is having that family connection, having my sister, having family that I love, that cares and loves for me, having friends and having a church family those connections are far more important than whether we have the USB cord to charge, whether we have a pool to go to in the summertime, all those earthly connections. The more important connections are those human connections. 
and how we connect to one another, how we show love to one another, how we share the gifts of the Spirit with one another. And thus, that is the greatest connection of all, our connection to God. You know, we could lose all of our power cords, we could lose our pools, we could lose all of our earthly things, and all that would truly matter is whether we had our connection to God. And God loved us so much, he didn't just leave us alone down here. Jesus loved us so much that when he ascended into heaven, he didn't just leave us alone down here. But he wants to have a daily connection, an hourly connection, a connection every minute to our soul and to our being, and he does it through the Holy Spirit. Once we say we believe in him, we are filled with the Spirit, and we can have the strongest connection we want. We can turn that connection down, or we can turn that connection up. Right now, as we see all the trouble in the world, all the unrest, as we've you know, started to emerge from the pandemic, but we're still uncertain about the months to come, and even more so, all the unrest, all the division, all the fighting. When will it end? When will we come together? When will we be unified? The only way that is going to happen is if we focus on what the important connections are, not the earthly cords, but the connection to God. Are we plugged into God? Are we connected to the Holy Spirit? Are we sharing God's gifts? Do we appreciate the gifts that God has given us? Does, do we appreciate the things we have around us? Those earthly connections, our family and friends, the many gifts and things we do have, do we appreciate them? And most of all, do we appreciate and use the love, the hope, the joy that God has put in our souls? He calls us to use that not just for ourselves, but to make this world a better place. The only way we fix the problems and the division we see right now is if individually we're connected to God and collectively we're connected together through the power and strength of the Holy Spirit. We are all loved by God. We are all his children. He wants a connection with each of us. And he wants all of us to be more connected to each other, more loving to each other. So as we go into this weekend together, be inspired by the fact that God never wants to lose connection with you. And you can always turn that power level up. You can always connect to him more. Be inspired in knowing there is hope for the future, even with all the unrest, even with all the division. God seeks to bring us together. And most of all, be inspired knowing that your God loves you so much. He brought Jesus, our Savior, into this world. Enjoy the beauty of today, the beauty of God's creation, the beauty of the human connections and the beauty of the connection of the Spirit. I hope you all have a very blessed weekend. Amen.